back, it's Tony Creek Spar Chaser and I got a good video for you today. Today we're going to go over installing Marathon Seat Covers. This is a company out of Bozeman, Montana. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I ordered these back in May. It's July 1st. I just received them. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to install these. I mean, what could go wrong? They're seat covers, right? But I got these because my dog Yeti, he's hard on my leather seats and I don't want them to get ruined. And I had those like blanket type things that you put to the headrest and it kind of goes over the seats. I'm tired of that look. So I wanted to get real seat covers. And from what I read online, these are some of the best ones you can get. They are a little bit expensive, but uh, they will take care of your seats and you don't gotta worry about your dog or anything else messing up your leather seats. Now this is a 2500 Dodge Ram 2013 with the Cummins engine and uh, ordering it online was super easy but let's just get right into the video and put these babies on. All right so here's the box I got from them the other day. Uh, it's packaged pretty well. Step back here. This is the care and warranty information and then I got the front seat installation instructions uh, for part number 895. I guess that's for the front for my truck and then I also have a pack for the back seat part number 898-13 and this is the back seat installation instructions okay so I went with the Cryptek Typhoon uh, color scheme here it's a nice black camouflage pattern and it also has the black sides as well and this is made from nylon it's actually called Kodora nylon and another reason why I went with this company was because they made it uh, leather seat friendly. So this will not damage your leather seats. I guess some out there will. It won't let it breathe um, and it could damage your, le your leather seats. So what I did before, I'm going to put this on. I just did some leather cleaner on my leather uh, just to condition it. Uh, that way, um, you know, it has something to kind of soak in while these are in and my seats are nice and clean. All right, so the first step wants us to install the seat uh, headrest covers first. There's these two flaps right here in the front. They want these to go on the front like this. Now, I guess these seat covers are very tight, but when it's all installed, it's gonna look like, you know, you got brand new seats, so. Uh, I don't want a frumpy looking seat cover. Man, those are really tight. Jeez. I'll get it. I'll get it. I know I'll get it. Maybe I shouldn't have put leather stuff on there because it is slippery. These are the right ones? Gotta be the right ones. Yeah, right one. Oh, I gotta just kind of squish the leather in a little bit. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. Okay, just like that. The next step wants us to take the headrest off in order to put the straps underneath it. I'm not going to, I have plenty of room here. So you just pull your straps through like this. And there's Velcro sewn on the bottom here. Just take that, shove it up here, and then just put, make, make it, you know. There you go, one seat rest done. I'll get the next one done. The next step says to go underneath your each front seat. And there's two elastic straps that are just clipped underneath. I never knew about these. You just take these, there's one right there. Just unclip them. And that lets this thing hang down, this flap. So I guess you need to have that for both sides. Okay, now find your passenger front seat or your driver's side, whichever one you're gonna work on, but they are labeled passenger bottom. It says to have the straps. to the front. And this long Velcro piece to the back. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this on as well. Okay, now it wants us to take this long Velcro piece right here and shove it down uh, through the back of the seat, just like this. I never even realized that I can stick my hand all the way through the seat cushion in the back here. <laughs> Things you learn. Okay, now it says take these two flaps from the front here, shove them underneath the seat and bring them to the back. These are the straps from the front right here with my dog hair on there. And I want you just to take these and just pull tight and strap to that long piece of Velcro that you push through on the seat. And I guess tuck up. All right, next step wants us to take the elastic loop from the factory seat belt connector here, take that off. Tuck that away and then put the new one that came on the seat over in its place. Next step, there's these two side uh, pieces of Velcro right here. They want you to stick these down so they go underneath the seat. Oh, kind of like that. And then find it. I got the first one, that's definitely hard to do, uh, sticking your finger through here and getting it to go underneath, underneath the seat, but I did get it to go. The second one I'll do off camera, cause that's gonna be, I already know it's gonna be a pain in the butt, so wish me luck. All right, okay, now I see why they want you to take off the headrest because you have to obviously put the seat cushion cover over. <laughs> so I'll to the side, okay. All right, so now it wants you to take, this is the front right here, and there's three straps on the front. They want that to go to the front. So that's what we're gonna do. Like that. It says to massage as you're working it down. All right, not too bad. Make sure the holes line up right there like that. Okay, once the backrest is on, um, the, I got the option without the cut, out the slit for the um, pocket back here, but you can get that as an option. I just chose not to. I barely ever use those, and no one else sits back here, so I'm not too worried about it. So now it wants us to tuck the factory flap up. That's this guy right here and under the seat cover. So I guess if they want us to go underneath here with it. That seems kind of like a pain in the butt. Roll it maybe. There we go, okay, it worked, it's in there. Okay, now we'll take these three straps, we'll shove them down, and we'll pull them from the back. There they are. There's the straps right there, just pull these. Not that one, sorry. Okay, three straps are right here. One, two, three from the front. And then I take it, we just put these kind of up like this. And then the Velcro right here comes down and pulls tight on that. Yeah, it works. Works nice. Okay. Now it says to take these two straps and mate them to the two two inch Velcro straps of the seat bottom. 
I'm not quite seeing that. I understand these are the two straps right here from the seat cushion bottom. This is that Velcro tail from the bottom seat cushion. But the way that the angle is, I don't understand how you'd get that to go on there. Oh, I think I know now. So those straps that came from the bottom, from the front there, you can kind of put these on those, just kind of feel for it and attach like that. Okay. Okay. So like that. Perfect. All right, I got the first seat done. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It's kind of hard with the camera and me trying to show you stuff, but directions aren't that bad. And just getting all the Velcro straps to go inside, um, you know, it is what it is. But it is a nice tight seat cover. It looks good. And now I'll finish uh, the driver's side. Okay, the console cover's next. I'm not really impressed with this. You're supposed to isopropyl the underside and they give you uh, Velcro to like stick on there. I had one before where it had straps that went all the way around and that worked really good and tight, but just keep it closed and just strap this thing on here. It will get tight on there. And then once you got to where you want it to go, make sure all your Velcros are down too. And once it's where it needs to go, we'll lift it up. We'll clean off where the Velcro's gonna be stuck at. And then we'll just attach it. Okay, we'll just take some isopropyl alcohol, clean off all the edges here. That's where those stickies are gonna stick onto. Now just take the sticky part off. I guess just go like that with it. That's it. Then you can always take these off and just pull them tighter if you need to. This is already good to go. Okay, the whole front is now done. Now the back seats. Okay, first step is to do the headrest again. It says to leave them on to put, you know, the headrest on just like the fronts. Um, I might just take them off. No, I'll, I'll do what they say. I'll put them on there with it on there. Those weren't that bad. Same thing, flaps on the front. That's kind of cute, huh? Okay, now we'll take them off. Put them on there. And again, just Velcro them underneath. Too easy. Just too easy. Okay, that one came off. I'm sweating like a pig. Muggy today here. All right, now why won't this one come off? Because this should come off. There we go. Just need some love. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I know why. A little rusted in here. That's not good. All right. Good to go. Okay, it just says uh, tuck this uh, underneath. Like so. I wonder where the uh, seatbelt goes. Oh, we probably put the seatbelt like that. Okay. So seatbelt goes in front. Line up the armrests. And you tuck in between. Mine has one that comes down on the passenger side. And the driver's side has a smaller seat that comes down. That's what we're doing right now. Putting those in. I see the misc tucks underneath. Where the seat belt goes. Okay, cool. That's pretty easy. Got a little Velcro, it just sticks everything. Okay, and this goes into the side like that. Just kind of get it in here a little bit. 
pull the armrest out and I guess this goes into the armrest hole. Yeah, it sure does. Just like that. Keep tucking. Velcro goes down in this little corner right here on this side. And you can find it with your finger or your hand. Shove your hand back there. Don't try and break it. Ooh, that's tight. Man, that's tight. Everything's tight. I lost it. I had it. I had it. I lost it. I have it again. Okay. I'll go right on here. Like that. Oh, almost fell out the truck. Okay, got that side in. It is almost impossible to get your hands back here. Jeez. Just come down like that. Velcro's in. A little armrest cover. Pull this thing up. There's like a little square where the cups go. There's three straps in this one as well. Push those through. You can find them on the bottom. Go ahead, man. That is just a that's a pain in the rear end. There's four straps. Great. There's no way I could show you what I'm doing back here. I'm just kind of feeling with my fingers. What's going on? If that's even working. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. The headrest back on, at least here in the middle and the passenger side. Now I'll do the driver's side back seat rest. If you can get your hand down through in here to do the Velcro, more power to you. I cannot, it is super tight. It's good enough for me. It's gonna protect against the dog, that's all I care about, right? But they do make it tight, but it's not gonna get that tight for me because I'm not gonna be able to get my hand down there to put that in there. I mean, I probably could if I wanted to, but I don't want to. This one seems pretty easy. It's just, uh, you know, half the size of that one. But the outside strap, you can get easy on these, so that's good. No one uses my back seats, so besides the dog, this one I can get right here in the corner. Okay. The headrest back in here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Back seat. We'll just uh, put the cover on like this. Lift it up a little bit. Shove it on there. That was really easy. And we'll just shove the tabs down the back. Connect them right there. Bada boom, bada bang. Bada boom, bada bang. Oh man. That's a workout. You know? Yeah, man. Oh, they work out. Whew, whew. It's like I can feel my fingernails, like the skin around my fingernails is being pulled. <laughs> it's kind of a weird sensation. Oh. I guess that's right, man. I don't know. Where are these guys at? There's one. There's two. There's three. Okay. Now that's nice and tight. Now, this cushion, this backrest is just a pain in the butt. It will not stay 
where it needs to be. It looks all frumpy and stuff. It's like the word of the day, frumpy. Driver's side back seat cushion. There's four straps in this one. It was really easy lifting it like that. Don't you love how-to videos? People make them look so easy, don't they? Well, they're not. <laughs> they struggle just as much as you do at home. I guess we try and just make it a little easier, I guess. Find some tips and tricks, but I'm not finding any on this one. None. It is what it is. It's a pain. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. All right, so they're all installed. Here's the aftermath. They look really good. I'm actually really happy with it. The center here, I'm not too happy with, just cause it just crinkles down here, but I guess I can take more time and work on that. And then the front seats look good too. I mean, pretty good, right? Bunch of money here for somebody. There you go. All done. It took me about two hours. Long time. I didn't think that'd be that hard. Now I know people don't usually wait around to this end part to see what I think about it, but um, they do install fairly, it's not that easy to install. And it's just because of the tight quarters to get these. But you want your seat cushions to be tight against the seat, which as you've seen, they are tight against the seat besides that middle uh, armrest area in the back. But overall, I'm happy with how they look. They're gonna do their job is, and that's to protect from my dog's nails, scratching the leather seats or him biting. And they're waterproof. So that's a good thing too, right? In case he spills water or I spill water or coffee on it. But yeah, so that's it. I'm sorry if the how-to video wasn't really how-to-y. Uh, that was kind of difficult and I struggled on that one a little bit, but I got them done. And that's the whole point. Thanks for watching the video. Drop a like or a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Uh, if not, that's fine too. Uh, leave me a question or comment down below. I love answering those. If you have any tips on how to install these a bit better, maybe Marathon can swing in here and maybe, you know, tell me if I did something wrong or not. Um, but yeah, also subscribe. It goes a long way and it helps me out a whole bunch. Until the next project that I do, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.